Bradley joins me now. You never told me you could sing. Uh, well, you never you kept asked. that a secret. <laughs> uh, do you know what, Lorraine? I've, I've got to be honest. I, I, I've sort of sang when I first started out in the industry, and then uh, um, I've taken a jazz band on the road. If I do Is my, I never knew that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if, yeah, <laughs> theatre tours. I would do the first half showbiz stories and songs with the jazz band, right? Four piece, and then the second half would be a show I'd put together, like I'd done in Edinburgh or something like that. Sure. So uh, that was it, and I never really. Uh, let anyone know so much. You know, you sing in panto and stuff like mm. that. And Amapola is um, <clears throat> a beautiful song, normally sung by people like Andrea Vicelli, but yeah. uh, I, I've done it and it means little poppy. It's, and it's sung in actually in Spanish. And it was my mum's, or it still is my mum's favourite tune. And my granddad, oh. uh, Barney, used to sing it to her when she was a child. And they're from, they're oh, from your neck lovely. of the woods. So that's why that's on there. Yeah. Um, so there's different, different songs. They all oh, mean something. perfect sense. Yeah. Did you enjoy doing, actually putting it together, choosing the songs, um, all of that, you know, recording it and everything? Because it's okay. so different to what you do normally. I know. Well, putting, putting it together was tough because uh, the record company sent me a list of songs they wanted to do. They heard me singing on uh, the London Palladium show, which I yes, host. Yes, of course. And uh, I, I opened the show one week with a Lerner and Lowe song from Brigadoon, almost like Being in Love. Another oh, Scottish love that song. thing, yeah, yeah. I love that song. But it's a, and the swing version. So um, they said, Do you want to make an album? I said, Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. Uh, they rang Stevie Sidwell, who's synonymous in our game um, for massive shows, you mm. know, and um, uh, worked with Buble and Ro on Robbie's albums and swing albums, and he's uh, and did the music for Baz Luhrmann's uh, Moulin Rouge. And they got Steve to, wow. yeah, produce it. Uh, and so Steve and I chose some songs and uh, uh, with another pal of mine, Barry Robinson, and um, it was my old MD. And we sat down, put it together, and Sony said, "Yeah, we like the track list. Let's do it." And Fantastic. away we went. But I've got to say, to sing with an orchestra of 54 mm. strings and big band was really, really daunting. And yeah. it wasn't until sort of the fourth day I started to get into things. Mm. I was so because these guys and girls, that they worked with the people that were really at the top of their game, and I'm not known for being a singer, so mm. I, I was a bit reticent. I, I, I can imagine that, actually. It'd be quite scary. Yeah. Once you get into it, though, it's OK. Yeah. It's, but it's, great. it's all right when you're down the pub, bit of karaoke. All <laughs> yes. of a sudden, it's, you know, it's like being a kitchen comic. When you get up there, you've got to do it. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. You know. But they, everyone was so supportive. Um, the band, the orchestra, uh, Stevie Sidwell, and all my family, and, and you know, and uh, whenever lovely. I go out, Donna always, my missus always makes me sing That's Life, you see, on the karaoke, so uh, that's why that's on there. Oh, well. but see, it's all, it's all meaning really good things to yeah, you. Are you going to do more, do you think? Uh, well, it's a three album deal. Excellent. And, and, uh, um, and strange enough, the, the, the album's called Chasing Dreams, and Steve said, Well, rang me from Mexico before we recorded the album. He said, I've written a tune. He said, I, I was by the swimming pool, as you do. And Lucky. I wrote this, yeah, and I wrote this tune, but when he needs some lyrics, I'll bring it home, and that. And that's that, right, you, that's, that's what you on did. It. And I, so I wrote the lyrics for that, and it's a very uplifting type of number. I tell you what, it's been, it's been a blast. I've got to tell you, though, I'm thrilled you had Elaine on, because yeah. Elaine, last Sunday on her show, which I adore... It's a great show. ...played one of my tracks on, on, her, on Elaine Page's show. Well, that's it, then. I couldn't that's believe it. That's it now, you don't have to do anything else. I know, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was so thrilled. I thought, well, Elaine Page has I know, that's on. great. So I was it's a real... Up. Stamp of approval. Oh, yeah. Just no, like that. Yeah. It really is. You're still doing the chase, though, and all of that, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Because yeah. that just is, I mean, it's hugely yeah. successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. successful. It's really weird, though, that Alexander Armstrong on the other side, yes, who indeed. does Pointless, he's, he sings too. But, Alex, strange enough, I, uh, Alexander and I, um, our studios, uh, we record our shows at Boreham Wood, right. and they're bang smack next door to each other. I mean, our doors to the entrance studio are literally sort of 10, 15 feet apart. And, and I, I saw uh, Zandra and I said to him, look, you've released an album. Tips and, yeah, you know, yeah. how does that all that process work? And he was really lovely with me, he, uh, Zandra. He's a smashing guy. And he just said, look, Brad, you've got to go in and enjoy it. And, and all that. So it was great. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. I think it's absolutely lovely. It's called, as you said, Chasing Dreams yeah. by Bradley Walsh. Out just in time for Christmas, you clever boy. Well, I think <laughs> it's out today. It is. It is. Yeah, you are, folks. A wee stocking filler. It is. It's a stocking <laughs> filler. That's it, folks. A proper stocking filler. It is. Oh, who, mums and nans, would you rather have in your stockings? Mmm. Bradders, definitely. Thank you very much. Definitely. Thank you, my love. It's great Cheers. to see you. Great to see you later on today Merry in the chase. Merry Christmas. I know. When it, it's, it's, we can say that now, can't we? It's on it. <gasps> it's, it is nearly, it's nearly here. <laughs> if you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here.
There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.